Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my fake tanning or self tanning routine and I'm going to be using the new Rimmel London Sun Shimmer Self Tan Mousse. This product is available in three shades, light, medium and dark and it's brand new and after trialing it for about three weeks now I can confidently give it two thumbs up. The first thing I do when I'm going to tan is take a shower of course and I like to soak my skin for a few minutes before exfoliating. And today I'm just using these exfoliating gloves because they're really easy to use. I exfoliate all over my body and I try not to be too rough just because my skin does get a little bit red which you can see. After exfoliating I let my skin kind of calm down for about half an hour before applying my fake tan. But before I apply my tan, I like to moisturize any dry areas just to make sure the tan doesn't build up in those places. I moisturize my elbows, my hands, my knees and around my ankles. I always use a mitt to apply my fake tan to avoid stained hands. I remember when I was much younger and I'm pretty sure this was before mitts came out or at least before they were really popular and I would always apply a fake tan with my hands and they would stay orange for way too long. Thankfully tanning formulas have improved and mitts have come on the market. I use circular motions to apply my tan and I don't really do this in any particular order. Some days I start with my arms, some days I start with my legs. That's totally up to you. And in case you're wondering, when it comes to tanning my back, I actually flip the mitt over so that the application side is on the back of my hand and then I use the back of my hand to really reach those hard spots on my back. When it comes to doing my hands, I always bend my fingers to make sure I get my tan right in those knuckles because otherwise you're going to have white lines all over them. I then use a large buffing brush to buff the tan into any areas that I feel need more blending, such as my hands and my feet and around my neck. Using a buffing brush around your hands and your wrists just make everything blend really nicely so there's no harsh line between where you've tanned and where you're not really tanning. When it comes to tanning my face, which I always do even though it does wash off quicker than the rest of my tan, I just like to mix a bit of moisturizer with the tan and I apply it using my hands and it just gives a really nice natural glow. Once I've finished applying the tan, particularly to my face, I just get some baby wipes and rub them between my hands to make sure there's no product left there. Then I throw on some loose comfy clothes and allow the tan to develop. This Rimmel Sun Shimmer Self Tanning Mousse actually develops in an hour. I generally sleep with my tan on just so it has time to really develop and get as dark as possible, but this product is perfect if you need a last minute tan. Now that my tan has developed, it's time to jump back in the shower. Quick showers equal longer lasting tans, long showers, spa baths, jacuzzis all equal bye bye tan. When I'm tanned, I like to moisturize twice a day because I do get very dry skin and keeping your skin moisturized also means that your tan will last longer. I don't really change my makeup style up too much when I'm tanned. Of course, I do adjust my foundation to suit my tanned skin. And other than that, you're probably just more likely to see me wearing more golden tones because now I can pull it off. To really make my tan pop, I like to apply illuminators to all the right places, such as my decolletage, and highlight all over as I always do. But the decolletage and your legs and your shoulders can look really beautiful with that little bit of shimmer. And another way I like to make my tan really pop is to wear white or pastel coloured nail polish. It just makes such a huge, beautiful difference. It's funny because it's winter here in Australia, but with this tan, I feel like a total beach babe and I'm walking around in shorts and it's just so not appropriate for the weather, but I just feel so bronzed and beautiful like this. I really hope you enjoyed this video and picked up some tanning tips along the way. I'll see you in the next one.